How's it going everyone? So in this video we are continuing our HTB Academy module intro to network traffic analysis and we are on the last TCP dump section. Uh, this is interrogating network traffic with capture and display filters. Um, so this one we do have to download a PCAP file and we have to analyze it with TCP dump. Uh, the good news is there's only two questions um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first question says, or asks, what are the client and server port numbers used in first full TCP three-way handshake? Low number first, then high number. So you can see my answer here, 80 and 43806. Um, so to get started, you have to scroll up and download um, the PCAP file. So it's under resources, and then um, TCP dump dash lab dash two dash resources. So go ahead and download that one. Um, and it also tells you here in the instructions to uh, utilize that file. Um, so for me, I'm, uh, I'm remoted into my Kali Linux uh, desktop and, uh, or VM. And I have TCP dump in uh, the desktop folder. So um, wherever you have it saved, um, navigate to that directory. So in the command line, so if I do ls, I'll list the files that I have. And so here is the PCAP file that we want to use. Now, in order to read the PCAP file, if you remember from the previous videos, um, to read a file, it's TCP dump dash R. That R switch is to read a file. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go TCP dump dash R and then the name of the file. So TCP dump dash lab dash two dash PCAP and then go ahead and hit enter. And then um, once it's done kind of reading through it, it will it will give you a good amount of output. Um, the good news is we don't have to read everything. It's just going to be the top portion. Um, so I'm going to scroll up and we're going to analyze to see what's going on. Now the question says, um, what are the client and server port numbers used in first full TCP three-way handshake? So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta identify three-way handshake. And if you remember from the previous videos, you have uh, the SYN packet, the SYN ACK packet, and then the ACK packet. And then in TCP dump, um, you can see that there's flags. And if you remember from the previous video, I had a link that had a little table here that shows you um, what each of those flags mean, right? So the three flags that we're looking for is S for SYN. And then we're looking for SYN ACK, which is going to be S and a period. And then we're just going to look for ACK, which is just a period. So we're looking for S, S dot, and then dot, right? So let's go ahead and look at the logs here. So first line here, we just have an acknowledgement. Okay, well, we need more. We need a SYN and a SYN ACK before that. Here is, again, it's just the acknowledgement. Here's just an acknowledgement, acknowledgement. So we have to try to find our first SYN packet here. Um, okay, so here we go, SYN. All right, but then as we go, it's like, okay, well, here's another SYN packet. Okay, so um, we keep going down here, another SYN packet, and we come down here and we go, okay, SYN ACK. All right, we're getting close. Now we just need an ACK packet. Right, so let's look for that period. So we have another S dot, we have an R, which means connection reset. We have another SYN ACK. So everything's kind of like, it looks like it's out of order almost. Um, and then we have an acknowledgement finally. So it's like, okay, there's a lot of stuff here on the screen, right? Let's organize everything. So we have a SYN right up here and also right here. So it's like, okay, which do we look at? Um, so we can take a look, and I think the best way to look at it is just to look for the first acknowledgement under the SYN packet, right? That'll kind of get us closer to find the full uh, three-way handshake. So if we come down here, we have S dot and dot, right? So it's like, oh, okay, we have SYN, SYN ACK, and ACK, right? So um, now, Let's kind of dig in and see, you know, 
which which combination of these three is the actual SIM packet, right? Well, let's start off with um, the first acknowledgement here, right, that the client sends back, right? So if we take a look at this line, we can see that the client IP is 146.2, right? The source port is 43806, okay? So you remember in the previous uh, videos, there was a way to filter on a port, right? So if we filter on port 43806, let's see what we get. So let's do that. So I'm gonna hit enter and let's do up arrow, okay? Now the filter that we're going to use is just port, right? The name port, and then what port do we want to filter on? Well, 43806, right? So let's go ahead and enter and see what we get. All right, and as you can see, there's less information and we can analyze it a whole lot better. Here's our SYN packet, here's our SYNAC packet, and here's our ACK packet, beautiful. Right, so now we can determine that um, this is the first three-way handshake, right? Because in this bunch of logs here, if we scroll all the way back up, right? Um, keep scrolling, well, let me just kind of scroll all the way up here. So we have these two acts, right? Um, but that's it, there's no sin and there's no sin act before. There's just a bunch of acts here, but we want the first full uh, TCP three-way handshake. So if we want to get the first full three-way, which is SYN, SYNAC, and ACK, um, we first find the SYN, the SYNAC, and then see if this um, acknowledgement is from these, from one of these SYN packets. So it's like, okay, let's take a look at 4306. So we did that, and um, now we can see, oh, here's the first three-way handshake. So we can see the SYN, the client, is going uh, to this address, right? And we can see that the server responds back with the SYN ACK packet back to our client, right, over that port, right? So the source port from the client, right? And um, going to the destination port for that client, and then you have the acknowledgement, the client, again, using that same port, because it's going to use the same port, right, to complete the three-way handshake. Um, and it's going over the HTTP port. So you can see here, HTTP in the SYN. And you can see the server sourcing from the HTTP port. And you remember, HTTP is port 80. Now it's sourcing from 80 going to 43806 because the client sourced from 43806. Um, and now the client is acknowledging from source 43806 going over port 80 to this server. So the answer, um, if we go back, um, so it says low number first. So we know it's HTTP port 80 and then space and then the high number 43806. Um, so that is going to be the answer for the first one. Now the second question asks you, based on the traffic seen in the PCAP file, who is the DNS server in this network segment? And it wants the answer as an IP address. So we've used um, a couple of uh, filters. We use the, the read switch, we use the port filter. So if we wanna see the DNS uh, traffic, you know, we can look through this big mess of logs, but let's filter and let's make it easy for us. Uh, so just hit the up arrow, right? So what port does DNS use? Well, port 53. So let's do that. So 53, hit enter. And let's just look at the first line that we get. So let's scroll up and we can see here that our client here over, okay, so the client's IP is 172.16.146.2 and it's using source port 57752 and it's going to 172.16.146.1 um, over port 53. Because remember, each of these entries is using port 53, either as the source or the destination, 
In this case, the destination port is 53. You don't see 53 here, um, but you do see uh, domain, you see A for an A record. Um, so you know that each line has to have port 53 in there um, because that's what we filtered on, right? Um, and you can see the DNS server um, over its sourcing from port 53 going back to the client on um, its port of 57752. Um, and you can see, again, it's looking for an A record. Um, so if we go to the uh, back to the question, it says, based on the traffic seen in the PCAP file, who's a DNS server? Well, we found it was 146.1. Um, so if we go back, you can see here, it's uh, 172.16.146.1. So that is the answer um, for that question. So um, I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, I know there was, there was kind of a lot there, um, but I hope, you know, you learned and I hope I explained it well. Um, there's a lot to it. You know, you have to remember what you learned before and kind of apply it here and uh, make things easier on yourself. You know, do some filters so that you can see what exact traffic that you want. So you don't have to look like a big, you don't have to look at a big, you know, mess of, you know, logs, like hundreds of lines. You can skip all that and just filter with what you want to see. So that's what we did here. So if you guys found this video helpful and useful, please like and um, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.